Where are those chocolate covered raisins? Weren't there new new raisins in here? Not for you. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you hid them. I found them. You got one? Yeah. Guys. We're in Salt Lake City, which is Trent's hometown. You know how you never really explore your own town that you grew up in? You just kind of take it for granted and never do like the touristy things because you've lived your whole life there. It's not as interesting. We've been traveling for the past few months. Now we're back in Salt Lake City and it's kind of refreshing to be back here and maybe get excited about exploring it a way we've never seen it before. Yeah, yeah. have you been to Vertical Diner? No. Yeah, I've never been either. So some of my friends who have gone vegan recently said the Vertical Diner is like a really good vegan spot. In this vlog, we're gonna do a hike that neither one of us have ever done, even though it's like... A really quintessential, iconic hike for yeah. the area. We're gonna do that hike tomorrow morning. Then we're gonna go and get lunch at one of our favorite spots. We're gonna hit a new dinner spot, go out on the town. But tonight, we're just gonna get food at this vegan spot called Vertical Diner. Can we get this underway? Let's do it. All right. Let's get vertical. I'm so full. That was delicious. Yeah, it was wow. way too much food and we ate all of it. We're uh, gonna hit the sack now because we gotta get up at 6 a.m. to go start this grueling hike. We're gonna try to do it in six hours. We'll see you guys. At what time? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. All right, see you at 6 a.m. Uh, it's about six after six. Let's make some coffee and hit the trail. What do you say, babe? <laughs> no. Oh, surprisingly, I slept pretty well. Pretty happy. Frank looks stoked. I'm stoked. Yali's trying to be stoked. Coffee. Snacks for the trip? I think we need more. There's enough here to feed a kindergarten class. That's you. All right, we're about to get going. We're gonna throw on some shoes, get a hat, get our backpacks filled with water and hit the trail. Good morning vlog. We're a little late. 6.58. Yeah, we're All sweet. right, we got some time to look up. All right, and it begins the 4,100 foot staircase. Hi guys, I feel like I haven't really talked to you this morning. Not really a morning person myself. Honestly, the alarm went off at 6 a.m., I hit snooze, and I was totally fine with not waking Trent up. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess. But I was already up. He woke up. <laughs> We're here. I'm just trying to like power through and get up as far as we can before it gets super hot. I know today is supposed to be like a high of 90. We, we didn't pick the best time of year to do this hike. This is the weekend we're in Salt Lake City, so we're just trying to make it happen. Enough excuses. We're here, it's nice. We're halfway. That last section killed me for sure. It's only gonna get harder. 
but it's gonna be worth it, right? Check out the view. You can see the shadows of the mountains, how they're like creeping back across the valley. It does look smoky though. Or, well, I guess it's kind of overexposed, but hopefully when we get to the top, there'll be some sick drone footage coming your way. We'll see you at the top. I guess we'll see. This is not hiking. Why are we doing this? This is a pretty nice scramble here at the end. I think that's the peak all the way up there. Frank made it all the way to the top. Wow. Sketchy climb. There's an apple. No. There's a flag. Nothing better than being on top of the world with my boys. Ditto. We signed the log. LDS Business College. <laughs> the hike wasn't like extremely bad. Honestly, the hardest part was this rock scramble at the end with Frank. Yeah. He was not thrilled about that part. It took us two hours and 49 minutes to climb to the top. This is the spot that I stay in until we turn around. Frank and I have found the brink of our limits. For your comfortability? <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's okay. Look where we are, look how steep this is. Both sides. Drop off there, drop off there, drop off there. All right. Just got into the van, sweltering hot in here, but it feels so good to sit down. The scramble at the top was way scarier than I expected it to be. Our battery died, which I'm kind of okay with, but it would have been really funny for you to film me spider crawling on my back down the scramble because I was so scared of standing up or turning around. It was hilarious. I'm sure it looked really unattractive. Sadly, the battery died, sorry. Other than that, <clears throat> I'm starving. We had coffee and a couple little like uh, gummy gels and that's about it. Jubes, we had coffee and jubes today. If you don't know what jubes are, I'll flash them on the screen right here. They're delicious. That's what Eamon and Beck and the Minimal Millennials called them when we were all hanging out, and now that's just what we call them. But now I think we need a real meal. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know yet where we're gonna eat, but we'll take you with us wherever we decide. Okay, bye. We decided to go to Tony Caputo's because it's one of our favorite lunch spots. Lunch spots. The best sandwich zone in Salt Lake. Can we do one fior de latte? Full sandwich? Full sandwich. Uh -huh. uh, half a soprano. Half soprano. Half meatball. Okay. And two large ice mochas. Coffee? Yeah. Weird ice coffee cup, yeah. Yeah, she said that they don't really make ice drinks. But they did for us. Nice guys. Their meatball is unreal. Mm. So good. Probably one of the messiest sandwiches I've ever tried to eat in my life. But it's freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know of any major city that has closer mountain access than Salt Lake City. If you do, let us know. Well, that's not true. I'm sure there are. Asheville's in the mountains. Bozeman's in the mountains. Those aren't major cities. Mm, true. With an international airport. It's a major city. That's their criteria. Mountain access that's less than 10 minutes away. Mm. You're literally in the mountains and it's a major city. Mm. They have great food. Mm -hmm. There's a decent nightlife. The nightlife kind of sucks, but there's a decent nightlife. The raising or a rising are... vegan scene too. Mm -hmm. And it has the greatest snow on earth, or so they say. Um, it doesn't anymore. I lived in Montana and I would argue that Bozeman snow is better than Utah snow. My knees hurt. Because mm -hmm. I'm old. Just him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> My knees hurt on his behalf. <clears throat> They're sympathy pains. Mm -hmm. When we get done eating, I think we probably will nap. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna go out for an awesome dinner, and some drinks with friends, 
We're gonna take you guys along with us. I think we'll see you guys at dinner. Hello. All right, action. What's up guys? <laughs> We are here, just got all spruced up, ready we for dinner. We showered, we are looking fresh, we, we got, got Tony. Sup YouTube. <laughs> we got my homeboy Tony here. Sup guys, this is the fifth time that they try to record this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not, but it should have been. <laughs> it's like the third This time. is actually Get Fat with Tony. If you guys have ever yeah. heard of Get Fat with Tony, he's you a haven't. YouTube sensation. No, but check out my website, he's not a, He's not a YouTube sensation yet. Mm -hmm. He's an uh, Instagram name? sensation, yeah. yeah. So tonight, where are we going? Where's We're going to Gracie's first to get some booze. Oh. Um, <laughs> and then we're gonna go get some chicken sandwiches at Pretty Bird. Pretty Bird. Mm-hmm. What type of food is that? American? It's chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches at Pretty Bird. Yeah. Awesome. We're at a tiny little establishment. They serve chicken sandwiches that are apparently gourmet. It's a really tiny little restaurant, but the food is world class. So we're excited to try it out. We've actually never eaten here before. Here we go. Going out is here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Should we hit last course? Oh yeah. Let's just order something we can all split. Let's just take a look. Yeah, let's, let's just, just check it look. out. We're at last course and we got the white hot molten lava cake. I think it looks amazing. And we're super full from Pretty Bird, but we had to do it because we're here. We're going for it. Ready, guys? Oh my goodness. It's great. It's great. Damn. It's really good. It's hot and it's white. And it'll blow your house down. No. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we just finished the white hot lava cake at last course. It was amazing. I'm about to burst at the seams. How are you feeling? I feel great. That was delicious. Just one more reason why Salt Lake City has proven to be one of the greatest cities we've been to. The food is amazing. The hike today was amazing. We're actually going camping tomorrow morning. There's just so much to do in the area for and whatever also, you want to do. The people are really nice and the city is really clean. It's like yeah. Pretty rare with cities this big. We're gonna go out with our friends, but we wanna thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.